Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can make a response in Panart image or cover image using HTML and CSS. So here it gets this is responsive and I'm going to show you how you can make this. So for it, let's go to our code and here in the body, let's declare it in this tip, we will have our image. So let's match on the image tag. Let's say the image tag will be, uh, so it will be image on dot png, which is basically this one. So here in that div, let's match on a class, class name will be container. So for this image, we're going to mention a class. Let's the class name will be my underscore cover. So right now we're going to first of all write some CSS for this my underscore cover. So for it, let's go inside the head section. Here I'm going to say style. And in this style, let's say here, or let's mention this class my underscore cover so we'll say here dot my underscore cover when we to set the image width it will be 100 per se then the height uh let's say height will be 500 pixel after that we are going to write some css for the class container so let's say here dot container to second bracket and for this class container we are going to use the same width and height so we'll say here width and height and we'll mention one more thing that is position, it will be relative. Since we want to make our cover responsive, if we now save it, then if we just open it in the browser, it will look like this. And if we now just make it smaller, the image will look bad. There you can see, once we make it smaller. So what we are going to do is that we're going to say here, uh, inside my cover, we're going to say object, it will be cover if you now set then refresh here the image will get cropped depending on the scale width there you can see so it is responsive now let's say we want to have a button here let's say anchor tag so for it uh, here inside this tip plus container let's mention an anchor tag so let's say here click me so right now we're going to write some CSS for this anchor tag. So the anchor tag is inside the class called container. So let me just say here dot container, then the anchor tag, then to second bracket. So let's say here for this anchor tag, the position will be absolute. So the position, it will be absolute. Let's say here left, it will be 30% and top, it will be let's say 15%. Let's say the background color for the anchor tag will be black. The text color will be white. And since this is an anchor tag, we are going to say text decoration, it will be none. So if we now set this, then refresh here, there you can see you have the click me button here. So let's say you want the click me button to be in the center. For in, what you can do is that we are going to set here left 50%, top will be 50%. And then we are going to set transform. It will be translate, it will be minus 50%, comma, minus 50%. Save it. Then refresh. There you can see clicking button in over here. Let me just add a little bit of padding over here. Let's say add padding, it will be 12 px. And let's also say font size, it will be 26 px. If we now refresh, there you can see we have the click through button and if we just inspect, just right click, then you will see the inspect option. Then just go to over here, responsive and if we just make it smaller, there you can see it stays responsive. So this is how you can make a responsive banner or hero image or cover image using HTML and CSS. I hope this was easy for you to understand. If you have any question, just let me know in the comment section. You should subscribe. And I hope to see you in the future tutorials.